Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and this is Brunch with Burr. So today we're gonna be making brunch pizza! <laughs> this sounds so good, y'all. I was asking everyone on my Instagram what I should make and I thought the best suggestion was brunch pizza. So that's what I'm gonna make. So sit back, enjoy. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel because we're gonna get cooking up in here today. Woo! recipe is some pizza sauce. I went to Safeway and I got Mia's Kitchen deliciously authentic pizza sauce. Looks good Mia. I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna review if your sauce is something that's upholding what it says. Deliciously authentic. So while I was at Safeway I'm kind of annoyed. I was trying to find the Crescent's pizza crust because I was like oh I'm making pizza crunch. Let me get some pizza crust. No, everyone's bakers all of a sudden. There's no baking stuff. All the toilet paper's restocked, but there's no baking stuff. So, instead I got like the crest, crescent dough sheets. I got two. I got two whole dough sheets. So we'll see what it, well, that will be like. Me experimenting, we all know this doesn't go great, but crust is crust, right? So it should be fine. The next thing you'll be needing is your meats. So I got the Gallo Salami and I also got Jimmy Dean's Pork Links, y'all. So I got fully cooked because I'm really lazy and I don't feel like cooking. I just want to throw it in the oven and be done. You feel me? The next thing you'll need for this recipe is cheese. Uh, I got a bag of mozzarella. I love mozzarella and mozzarella tastes great on pizza and I'm pretty sure that's what's on most pizza. And you'll also be needing some feta cheese. You'll need two eggs, can of olives. We're not gonna use all of the olives. Well, actually, we'll see. Add some greens to your life. Happy Earth Month. We're adding spinach to this bad boy. I love spinach. I love spinach. I'll eat spinach with anything. I'll eat it with a sandwich. I'll eat it plain. Watch me. Del delicious. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get your pan, you're gonna get your foil, and you're gonna put it on the pan. Once you've done that, then you're going to get your two crusts. I would prefer pizza crust again, but whatever's fine. Crust is crust, like I said. Then you're gonna just toss those bad boys onto the pan. This. This is only one. I don't want my pizza to be square. I want it to be like cute and round. Now my only concern, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so thin. So I don't know whether or not to add the other one on top of it to make it thicker or to just make another cute little pizza. I'm just gonna make another pizza. Since it's so thin, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm just gonna fold it. So it's got that thick layer and then I'm just gonna make it into a circle. And we can just test out which one's better as far as not having the bottom fall out. Ta -da! So this one is the double layered one. As you can see, it looks like this one will be a success because the bottom is thicker than a snicker. This one is the thin one and I'm already doubting its ability to live out of the oven. But who cares? Let's see what happens. Next thing we're gonna do is add our Mia's delicious authentic sauce. I hope that's not stereotyping. Let's give it a, a sauce of taste. Different. A lot of basil. I like it though. I'm not a picky eater. This is gonna be hard for anyone that's watching that's a picky eater because I'll eat anything to be honest. So what you're gonna wanna do, oh I'm already starting, is you're gonna just wanna get, start smearing that sauce all over. Danya, danya. I cannot stop acting like I'm Italian. Once you have spread your sauce all over your mini pizzas, you're gonna wanna get your spinach, place them like so, like this. Boop. Give it a little, just give it a little base, spinach base. Once you're done adding your spinach base, then you're gonna wanna do a little mozzarella. Ah, on your little pizzas. I can't stop, guys. I really cannot stop laughing like this. <laughs> Next, what you're gonna wanna do is crack your egg just into the middle. I'm really hoping it doesn't spill or anything. I'm gonna crack the egg like so, like that. Oh my goodness, Lord! It looks beautiful. Let's take a 
panda, shall we? Ooh, ooh, yes. Next, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add your meats. So, while off camera, I sliced up all the sausage and I tore up the salami. I don't know why I didn't cut it with a knife, I just tore it up with my fingers. You're just gonna put it on like so. But I'm killing it right now. This is an A++ if I've ever seen, said so myself. Okay guys, I noticed right now that the one that's not double layered is leaking. Tip, double base it. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you, add your seasoning. I put oregano, salt, pepper. I don't know, I feel like it's a given to season your food, but as a brunch producer, professional cook, please season your food. And look it, it looks good. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna add your olives. Place it pretty though, don't just dump it like me. Beautiful. To top it off, you fed the cheese. Ah, uh, I came back. <laughs> Other slice. Okay, after you've completed your masterpiece, you're gonna throw it in the oven for 375 for 15 minutes. Let's do this. Okay guys, I'm very proud to say this is the final masterpiece. I will say that I did add it in for um, an extra five minutes. Um, so instead of just putting it in for 15 minutes, I put it in for um, 20 minutes. I cannot wait to eat this. Okay guys, so let's taste this. So good. This is this is by far the best thing I've ever made. I love the crust. It's flaky, just like the croissant. So delicious. Mm. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. Brunch pizza. And the best thing to go with brunch pizza. Pizza. Vino. Ah, there you have it, folks. Brunch pizza with a little vino. All right. Have a good day. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Brunch with Burr.